Hey you guys, Zephyr here, and welcome to some Call of Duty Ghosts, where I believe I end up getting uh, close to a double chem strike, something like that, so it is a pretty good gameplay. I end up getting a, I want to say a 15 gun streak, and then I end up dying, but after that, I think the, a couple lives after that, I end up getting another, or I end up getting a chem strike. So it is pretty much a double chem strike fail, and lately I've been getting a lot more chem strikes, so... Uh, definitely expect to see some more chem strike gameplays on my channel because I've been getting a lot of them. I think I've reached, you know, I, I think I have like now like 11 or 10, chem, I mean like, yeah, like 10 or 11 chem strikes, which isn't a lot. However, I've been getting them at a rate that's like increasing a lot lately. Basically what had happened for me in terms of getting chem strikes is that, you know, like two weeks ago I'd gone from having like two chem strikes and then I got like... I, I got a lot, a lot of chem strikes. I was at a point where I thought I had, like, the number one specialist loadout where I could just beast on people, and I thought I kind of had pubs on this game. Sort of mastered. Until I kind of fell into a slump on Call of Duty Ghosts, where in pubs, basically what had, how I ended up getting into this sort of a slump is that I was playing a bunch of Clan v Clan, which is basically Ghost League play, and I would use the MTAR because they, that's what I use in competitive. I'm an MTAR player, I'm an SMG, and I got so used to the MTAR to a point where, like, my playstyle would completely re re basically revolve around the gun, and once I got into pubs and tried to use other guns, it, it just didn't work. The only gun I would, it would be able to use would be the MTAR, and that just frustrated me because, honestly, like, I like to have a gun, a variety of guns, and be only being able to use one gun, like, that, that really sucked. So, basically, what I ended up doing is I experimented with a couple more loadouts until I found a loadout that one of my buddies, Editions, uses, and it's this one special loadout with, you know, certain perks, etc., and it ended up working out for me. Like, as I said in some of my previous commentaries, what I used to do is I wouldn't use Stalker and instead use Quick Draw, and at the time, that complemented my playstyle a lot. However, now, you know, <clears throat> After emerging from this slump that I was recently in, I, you know, I think Stalker is better, and for me, like, a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, no, I don't want to use Stalker because I don't want to get used to it because when I go to competitive, Stalker's not allowed, but you guys gotta remember that, or at least for me, I'm an MTAR player, as I said, in competitive, so it really doesn't affect me because I'm not gonna be using ARs in the first place. Anyways, though, let's get into the first part of the, into the part of the commentary that I really wanted to talk about, and what that is, is clans in Call of Duty Ghosts. So as you guys probably know, in Clan Wars it's called, um, there are different divisions and different rewards for different divisions, etc. So I'll just go over them. Basically, clan levels range from 1 and to, I think, 20, 25, I don't know, something like that. And right now our clan is, I believe, level 12. And basically, we're trying to get our clan to a point where... Like, we can get max leveled and get into the Diamond Division for Clan Wars, which is basically the highest division, and there are a bunch of awesome rewards for that. But, basically, I'll explain some of the awesome stuff for being in a, cl for being in a clan if you guys aren't in one. First off, for all the different levels, you get, like, all this sick gear you can get for your character. You get all this headgear, stuff like that, that you can only get from the, the clan stuff. So that's really neat, and I think that's really cool how they kind of done that. And then as well as if we get into Diamond Division for the clan, we can get some really cool gear. And when I say really cool, I mean really, really cool. I'll link the images to the gear in the in the description down below. If you're on the Charlie Intel website, which is basically a Call of Duty website that has like a bunch of stats and other stuff like that, you can see, like, there's... There's some really cool things that you can earn for rewards that you would probably want. Um, you know, it's just there. It's there's it's crazy. There's so much awesome stuff. Like you can get exclusive camos, exclusive gear. As I said, it, it's really awesome. So if you guys are wanting to join a clan, and by the way, our clan is level 12, so we already have a gold clan tag. And then once you get to max level, you get a red clan tag. But we already have a gold clan tag, so yeah. Anyways, though, the requirements to join this clan is that, first off, you need to be able to basically play a lot, right? Because to, to win clan wars, what you do, you go into pubs and you just have to win the games with one person one person in your clan, right? So, basically, what, what we want to be able to do is we want people with high win losses, or not necessarily high win losses, but people that can 
people that can win every game, basically. We don't really care about the KD. We just want people that can win every single game because that's kind of the idea of it. And you have to be able to get on and play with other people in our clan, obviously, because, you know, that's how you level up by playing with people in your clan. So, anyways, though, um, first off, I wanted to talk, since I haven't even said what our clan is called or anything like that, reasons why, you, first off, though, I wanted to say... Here are a couple things, so you might be wondering, though, like, why should I join you guys' clan when I can join this clan that's already max level and is already in diamond division or something like that? Well, I'll tell you why. First off, you may want to be, you may want to play with me or Additions. Additions is also in the clan, and um, some of his subscribers probably want to play with him, or some of my subscribers might want to play with me or him, or and or basically, or if you guys want to play with some of the members on my competitive team that are in my clan as well, such as um, Jplex, who's a guy who is actually on Kids React on the Fine Brothers. His name is Jake. You might recognize the name because he was on Kids React, but he plays a bunch of Call of Duty, and he's a good friend of mine, and he's on the competitive team as well, but basically, as I said, if you want to play with us, that's one reason why you may want to join, as well as we have probably, you know, not to, not to, I don't know, promote my own stuff too much, but we have probably one of the best clan names you will come by. Basically, back in Black Ops 2, there was a way to reserve clan names for Call of Duty Ghosts, and that's what we did. We reserved the clan name MLG COD, and that's the name of our clan right now. So, the name MLG COD, like, that's probably one of the best names out there, just saying. So, if you want to have an awesome clan name, if you want to get awesome gear, if you want to play with me, Additions, Jplex, and our other member of the competitive team, Microscript, then join our clan. But you gotta be good, you gotta be able to win. Anyways though, thank you guys very much for listening to this commentary. I'll see you guys later. Bye.